Hello, all, and good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, Teto. Huh. WGHP is going to uh, discuss the Tammy Aldridge case. What's the. T Waiting for that to. Ooh, I think I know who that is. Hello, Lee Roy Maggie. Hello, War Bird. Hello, Daniel T. Good to see you in the house this morning. Hello, LG Lady, Mouse Mitts, KKB, CJ Mounger, Country Girl, Elaine Leslie, Flight Level. Good to see everybody this morning. Hello, Turd Ferg. Let's see the pic. It's not unboxed yet. Can I tell you, I am. Ooh, I'm giddy this morning. I will show you what I can. Let's see. This is what I have right now sitting in front of the house. Let me pull that up for you guys. I have a big box sitting in front of the house to be unpackaged. The Calvary... Uh, arrives about 11.30 or so after the podcast. We will get it out of the box. Mr. C is on today. Mr. C is planning on joining. And, oh, wait. Let's uh, take this one down and uh, finally back up and running on the website. Finally back up and running. They finally got it done. Let's see, what's this about self? So, let's see. Kukla made a shirt. Kind of like our staff shirt. So I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to unbox and show you guys pictures, film. Film at seven. Actually, that may be what you get this evening. I don't know if I'm going to be good for much else. Hello, Duke. Thank you. Hello, Art W. Hey, look, we got a little uh, wisdom. Uh, every challenge you face today makes you stronger tomorrow. The challenge of life is intended to make you better, not bitter. I like that, Art W. I like that. Hello, Char. Hello, Larry. Hello, CMKX to Aloha. Maybe we can finally be on the other side manana, right? Or soon on CMKX. Hello, right side Patriot updates. Hello, Sue Horse. New wheel. Does it count as new wheels or is it like new tracks? New whip. I wonder how that one works. Broadcast from the beach. <laughs> I can't broadcast to um, Rumble from there, though, only to uh, the easiest. Is to uh, send it just to uh, Twitch and YouTube when I go mobile. Hello, Contessa. Hello, Trace of Florida. Hello, Larry. Good to see you in the house. Zen Jen. Lori. Ooh, I should probably stay a little more um, pulled together here. Let's see. Wait for things to uh, load up. All right. Just like groceries, gas, and food, your energy bills are expected to keep hitting record highs over the coming months, too. Yet the greedy power companies show no signs of lowering costs. So I've been using this magical little device that I love. Thanks to it, I'm able to help slash my power bills, beat the greedy utility companies, and keep more money in my pocket every month. Use my link in the description below to get 65% off, plus receive several bonuses with every order completely for free with many other free bonuses before they sell out by going to don'twastepower.com. That is don'twastepower.com. Or it's in the link in the description below if you're on YouTube. And rumble, don'twastepower.com. Let's see. Judge McAfee Court making progress on the found ballots. Never scanned. Trump was right again. Right over and over and over. Yeah, I'm going to need Camaro Commando, some kind of custom Fury track t-shirt, except for the name of the, and Fury in the movie. The proper name, the historic name was In the Mood, so that's what it is. Wait, it's Starlink on the rover. We're going to have to do that one. Diane's birthday, Karen's birthday. 
Mr. C today. I'm going to have to hit all the news type stuff quickly. Yeah, I'm going to kind of try to rip through it because we haven't had our uh, proper Mr. C time in a while. So we're going to need to do that. Today is my daughter's 21st birthday. I took the day off to go celebrate with her at school and, of course, get her drunk. Dragonfly responsibilities as a parent, right? Happy birthday to your daughter. This is a Christmas story when he won the leg lamp. Fragile. Fragile. <laughs> I remember that now. Nano's weather analysis. Nano's weather analysis. Everyone, let's stay weather aware today and keep an eye on things. Always have a plan and God bless. Uh, no, we do need to uh, stay weather aware with what is going on. Was it a uh, number of flights canceled yesterday? I know that this evening my buddy Aubrey was supposed to get in at, uh, from New York uh, last night, like 1.50 in the morning. And He's still sitting in New York because of many of the delays and cancellations going on. <laughs> Kelly, thank you. I am blessed and highly favored. I know. I'll hit that one quickly. Let's get to it. Whew, I'm excited. Oh, wait. Happy anniversary of my daughter, Shanna, and son-in-law. They share the same birthday. They share two children, and they share their anniversary. That's a lot on one day. On this day, April 4th, 1968, assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Patsy. In my excitement with the chair, I feel bad that I did not catch that. Thank you for pointing that out. Don't grow up at the trap lily pad. No truer words have never been spoken. See, today is my number two son's 34th birthday, Greg. Happy birthday, Greg. And gee whiz, thanks for putting a little testosterone in this grown-up thing. I mean, excuse me, in this birthday thing. Because <laughs> we were with Karen and Diane so far. White Wolf. Please do not. Please do a stream on the ESG social credit scores implemented by Tier 1 Banks. Little Fern, that is one that I would hope to be able to... Uh, Avoid altogether, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to do one on that at some point in the proposals because, well, we're not going to lose this war, on it. Uh, a good short on this one to give you an idea of what uh, Little Fern is referencing. Joshua Phillips over at Crossroads Epic Times did a pretty good breakdown on this one. Americans quietly assigned a China-like social credit score. No credit for me. And I am perfectly okay with it. See, you would think with a social credit score, they would say, you know, the more people you take care of, the more of your money you give away to those in need, the higher your social credit score. You know, if you volunteer, feed homeless, uh, coats to the needy, uh, propane to the, uh, to the vets, things like that, you think your social credit score would go up. Nay. It brings mine down. Seems to be that if you are a good, God-fearing, person-loving Christian, um, and you give a damn about humanity and society, it appears that your social credit score goes down, not up. Really a backwards world we are living in. I'll let God be my judge. I'll leave it there, but I will drop that link for those that want it on that uh, YouTube on your social credit score, but no, we'll, we, we will definitely be diving into it some. The war of the competing, the competing resets. T-Bone, that's exactly what we're fighting. Demons are all around. We are quite literally, or some of my sister's favorite words, literally. Um, we fight not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. It's a worthy fight, and we will fight it. Hello in central Illinois. Hello, Jeb. Yeah, humanitarian score, car, score by God. I like that one. Ooh, Bobo, why don't we start a Patriot Constitutional score? I like the idea. We can create a website, and then we can rank our politicians and media personnel. Hey, we're going to have to, we're going to need a good framework. Who actually shows up for humanity? Who talks about it? 
who makes a huge fortune off of uh, uh, pretending to be humanitarian minded, who's actually there for people. I like it. Uh, let's see what Bearded has to say. Family, possible announcement day or tomorrow of our new GCR go back currency. I am hearing that as well. It was told that this announcement would be done by mainstream media. Let's see what happens. Is it real or another deep state fake? Well, I've not heard about anything being announced by mainstream media, but I have heard that we could have an announcement in that time frame. We will see. Stay grounded. Yep. In these uh, end of times, the good will be called evil and the evil will be called good. Bam, we have arrived. And oddly enough, in my persecution, I am blessed because I know how this ends. Yeah, gone fishing. You could argue this one. WKW, we fight against politicians who do nothing for us. Yeah, I'm going to use it again. I'm going to use the example again. If your politicians gave a damn, if they had any, any ability, they would have already outlawed scam calls. Everybody hates them. You don't have to argue it with anybody. Quite literally, 100% of your constituents want it, but they can't pass it. They're completely ineffectual. They pass whatever their uh, corporate sponsors tell them to pass. And there are no more than a small handful of exceptions. I can't think of 15 or 20 in our entire House and Senate that are worthwhile human beings or capable of what they do. That's pretty damning, right? Uh, Treebeard, uh, Mike Barr, believe it or not, he was in the podcast and had the name Mike Barr. I was like, Mike Barr, I know that name. That's from Ancient Aliens. He's like, yeah, I'm that Mike Barr. And I was like, cool. And then we just started chatting and then we became friends in real life. But Treebeard, yeah, it's. Whiskey and Wisdoms are fun. Hmm. Hello, Barbara Shackford. Z Chair. Every time I see that name, it reminds me of Barbara Shackford, the woman who taught me to play the piano. So you have like the exact name. I was married to my height, my excuse me, my elementary school principal. The ESG was responsible for the Bud Light wokeness, and it is a World Economic Forum UN agenda. Now, when you look at that little fern, you can see the implosion. Uh, more and more corporations are running from it because it caused massive and billions of dollars worth of losses. Uh, they're hiring their ESGs, their DEIs, they're uh, excuse me, firing, getting rid of these um, from the social credit scores to the entire woke diversity, equity, whatever. Uh, you see them running from them now. Uh, they just haven't figured that out in uh, banking yet. They're starting to figure it out, and your government is still way behind on the memos. If you haven't missed the news. Oh, my goodness, I need to get to it. There isn't a whole lot of news um, so far this morning. We've got some financial news. We do have a, tons of rumors uh, of a possibility of a rate release today or tomorrow. We've got, of course, we still have the continuing rumors uh, that we are going to see. Um, fines, penalties, prosperities, and stuff in that same time bracket. Uh, the earliest I've heard possible is this evening. I do have some delayed bond meetings that are occurring uh, this afternoon. Uh, I think my earliest uh, is around uh, 2, uh, which quite literally I think is about now because I have to do the math because I've got one about 2 o'clock in a Zurich appointment, and I've got one that is similar time frame but on Eastern. And then I've got one later on the West Coast timeline. So it's going to, should be for an interesting day today. I don't know why it looks like that with the whole dark thing there. Breaking news, Russia says it will more than double its purchases of foreign currency and gold in the month ahead. It is clear, uh, even if we do not get this thing today or tomorrow, it is clear that uh, many in the world are positioning for it as we speak. Russia with this announcement gives you an idea of where things are headed. Wall Street Journal, where'd I lose this one? Ah, here we go. What's wrong with the economy? It's you. 
not the data. I love this one. Another, as Wall Street Journal has lost just about any bit of cred for me as a journalistic outlet. Yeah, I said it. Uh, I still like Wall Street Journal Asia. They still seem to give a damn about truth and uh, investigative and journalism and all those things. They don't much care about it in the uh, U.S. version of Wall Street Journal anymore, in my uh, opinion. What's wrong with the economy? It's you. There's nothing wrong with the data. They are pitching this, that the data, stock market's doing great. It's all in your head on the inflation side, guys. It's, it's all you. There's nothing wrong. It's perfect. Unemployment's fantastic. Uh, you're not paying any more for your gas or groceries or your housing than you were before. It doesn't cost you more to go. It is all in your head, guys. Just look at the data. Look at the data. It is all. Do you think this level of gaslighting is going to work? Hey, are you buying this at all? It's all in your head. The economy's great. You're not about to lose your house. You didn't just lose your house. You're not living at a hotel because you can't afford a house, uh, a weekly whatever. You're not sharing a bed with the roaches and, and the prostitutes in the next room or any of those things because you can't afford a house or groceries. You are not eating ramen noodles or doing without medicine or unable to fix your car. Um, none of that, man. It's all in your head, according to the Wall Street Journal. I mean, it's, it's obviously our problem because it is not the economy's problem. And Biden has done a wonderful, fantastic job. And you're supposed to believe this. Yeah. Gaslighting in full effect. I could not believe it. It bring it really did. Uh, I just I, I was giggling. I mean, I was almost in a fetal ball laughing as I read this article in the Wall Street Journal. There's nothing wrong with it. It is quite literally all in your head. Here, let me show you these wonderful charts that we have doctored up and that the uh, government gave us to show you. It's so much better, right? Can't make it up. You can't make it up, man. <laughs> so what's really happening to you is not really happening to you. Yeah, see, Greg, the dog out wallets lying to you again. I think it's time to shoot our wallets. I mean, we need to take them out, string them up, uh, send them to get my whatever we've got to do with our wallets, because it's obvious that they're lying to us. Your checking account lying to you. The grocery bill lying to you when you go. Obviously, the uh, checkout clerk at the uh, grocery store has no idea what they're doing. Yeah, Miss Jeannie is clearly working on some, right? Let's see, Rick, uh, 28 Iraqi bank ban to be freed without being trigger fines penalty. It very well could be. Iraq reinstates. This is uh, very important because Iraq was supposed to pay back uh, for that original dinar. That account has been freed. Uh, yeah, I, I can't stress last night's show and that news enough. I cannot stress how important yesterday was for us. Yeah, it is crazy overcoming victory that there are people still out there that believe it. And here's the thing. As they gather around the grocery, I mean, excuse me, the kitchen table, and they know that they just spent too much, and they know that they are not doing as well as they were. They know inflation has gone nuts. They know that people have lost a lot of hope. And then they read the story like that, and then they feel guilty. Like, oh, my God. It really is okay. It's just me. I need to change how I'm thinking. It's all, obviously, there's something wrong with me. It's not with, not with the economy. I just miss be miss misinterpreting the data. I, maybe I'm spending more money than I should on Parcheesi or something. It, it, this is it, it really is just absolutely nuts when you uh, read what they expect you to uh, buy. Yeah, right. Shade roof, fishing pole. It's got a shade. It's already got the fishing pole holder. It's got the uh, spot for the cooler. I am so ready. Yes, we have Sheila. Guys, we have a we got a big day ahead of us. Ukraine's starting to get dangerous. A lot of people seem to have forgotten about the war in Ukraine. That's a mistake. 
Uh, James Rickards, if you're not familiar with Rickards, Rickards, uh, one of Trump's uh, advisors, um, storied, storied intellect and economist, giving his breakdown on where we're at and how important Ukraine is uh, and how we are failing miserable. And then we've got another interesting store on that front. Morning from Central Valley. The other day you mentioned three North African nations and their currencies. One sounded very interesting. They're actually pooling. It's Niger. Um, uh, FEMA, it's uh, Mali. Anyways, there's three uh, countries pooling together to create a common currency. Right now, they're part of the SEPA currencies. Exactly, Sheila, one of the key players in CMKM, CMKX, also Al Hodges, right-hand lady, um, as far as helping to organize, take care of, probably one of the most knowledgeable people on farm claims, prosperity packages, bonds, settlements, pretty much this whole process, one of the most informed uh, she has been at this since day one. I don't even know where to go with the level of her contacts and some of the contacts that I have met through her. Uh, Burkina Faso, Sissy, thank you for that. Burkina Faso is that third one. So it's Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. Larry's daughter's birthday. Happy birthday to Larry's daughter. All right, I'm going to try and keep ripping through these. I want to get to Mr. C. Jack Smith urges the federal judge to change course in Trump case. Warns of consequences. Don't make us go above you. Don't make us reach towards some kind of clarification on these things from Merrick Garland or the DOJ because we don't like you doing legal things. We want you to re-decide on this one. It doesn't matter if he was president. And he had the right to declassify because that's not, that is not the political, excuse me, the legal point that we are bringing up here. The end of every civilization, we have seen weaponization of law where the letter, the exact letter law is more important than the spirit of law. What were they trying to accomplish? Uh, so they use technicalities created by them or codes instead of laws. and. What's well, one, it's pathetic. It's historically pathetic. And historically, it's never on the right side of history. But Jack Smith playing the game anyways. The legal gymnastics, the logical gymnastics they have to do to try to justify this approach is something else. And it is part of Trump derangement syndrome, obviously, in my opinion. You read it, make your own decisions on this one. Jack, history will not remember you well. Uh, you can decide now which side of history you would like to be on. Uh, Dershowitz cites overwhelming evidence against Fannie Willis calls for criminal investigation. Yeah, I know. Kind of the love-hate thing. Dershowitz, we're still trying to figure out where he fits on this old Epstein plane thing. But uh, that he has a tremendous legal mind is not to be questioned. Uh, all the evidence will tell you that he does. Yeah, Fanny, she has uh, got many, many, many things here. Perjury, violations, etc and calls for a criminal investigation. And this is the person that's supposed to tell us what's right and what's wrong. Seems it would help if she understood what is right and what is wrong first, right? Tons of military movement outside of D.C., tons of military. The, the military movement over the weekend with National Guard, troops, etc., has been extreme. Your new chair... Here's what I'm thinking. Four-wheel drive, put a six-inch lift, LED light bar with cooler, jack spare tire, tunes, mirrors, and a couple of curb feelers and pinstriping. All right. Curb feelers might be a good idea in case I'm running over any small uh, you know, cars, in case I run over a Yugo or a Prius. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't resist. Corrupt judicial system. Absolutely. And it is one of the hallmarks, guys. Uh, out of control spending, corrupt judicial system, um, unequal application of the law, you name it. I mean, all these things are just hallmarks of a failing demise or a failing civil, a failing, but what's the word we're looking for? 
like to say a failing uh, democracy or a failing republic because we're a republic and there are distinct differences. But what's the easiest term for people to uh, stomach on that one? I just noticed this. we got a lot more coming in. Greg, yeah, daggone wallet line. Happiness comes from within. Amen for mama. Uh, yep, I caught that one uh, from Mark. Uh, Kristen, CCC, can you please say happy birthday to my mom, Elsie. It's her 89th birthday. Elsie, happy, happy, happy birthday. Ron, how are things up in uh, Canada land? Thank you, sir. I see South Africa checking in. It's good to see Althea. And speaking of craziness, boy, I tell you, you guys have got enough craziness going on. What's it like really right now? I, think, I, I would be very interested in getting a chat with you because all we see are news articles and news articles are often not properly representative of life. Z-Force One, I kind of like that one too. Oh, Z-Force One's whatever I jump in. Definitely going to need the subwoofers, Captain Spiffy. Okay, Nebraska State Senator switching from Democrat to Republican. Being a Christian member of the Roman Catholic Church and pro-life is more important to me than being a registered Democrat. The party sanctioned him, censored him, uh, refused to give any dollars, donation, or support because he was pro-life. They want you to know that they are not. Let's see. Uh, we've got it. Where is the quote I've got from them? Ah, uh, the Nebraska Democratic Party will continue to stand up for reproductive freedom and the human rights of the LGBTQ community. Nebraska Democrat Party Chair Jane Cleve said in the statement, our decision to censor Senator McDonald was never about him being pro-life. No, no, no. It was all about him uh, not supporting uh, what they call their reproductive freedom. Isn't it interesting? Still looking for the reproductive freedom of the baby, but that's just me. Um, the lack in logic here by the party, the entire lack in logic in this movement is something I do not understand. And maybe you guys can enlighten me. Maybe I am just some um, barbaric heathen from the past. And I'm just so dense with my toxic masculinity that I don't get it. Uh, I don't see it somehow, maybe. And you guys can point out the error of my way. Uh, ways. <clears throat> Human rights of the LGBTQ community. I'm confused here. Don't we all have the same rights and human rights? Um, do we need a special set of rights? I, marriage is legal. There's what other rights? Are there like a whole special set of rights because you're a different kind of human than somebody that's not because of your preference? This is something that I'm just absolutely missing. We need a special set of human rights. Shouldn't we just have a set of human rights for all humans? It just seems to make sense to me, more logical sense. If we have a special extra set of rules for one group as opposed to another group, then that seems, well, unfair. If fairness is what we're shooting for, should we not be on the same playing field? I'm just confused on this one. Ah, just got notifications that they're poised to move. Follow on taking Trump's property. It will be the death of business in New York. The dirge, it's already seeing a hit. It will make Trump massively more popular. And financially, it will hurt his ego, but it would probably be the best thing for him for them to take it. And probably the best thing for the country. I know that sounds jacked that I said it that way, but uh, I, I can't see another way in my mind in which that plays out that is not a massive, massive loss for the globalist and the Democratic Party. Massive loss. And it's going to create animosity towards them that they it's they're, they're going to create an entire generation of martyrs I, I don't know how to describe what's going to happen here all right nine killed over 1,000 injured after massive 7.4 earthquake shakes taiwan damages buildings uh yeah leaning destroyed that they have got that low a level of death i mean i had 
the mortality rate. I, I'm, I'm just blown away that only nine killed so far. They, of course, are still searching and rescuing. That number will most likely go up. But Taiwan has definitely uh, done better than I thought possible. Let's see. Alert, there's a giant ball of light in the sky over central PA. Oh, wait, never mind. My wife just told me to settle down. It's the sun. It's been so long. I forgot. I love that. All right, let's get to Mr. C. It is that time. It is 1030 on the nose. It is Mr. C time. Oh, wow. 20 notifications in 30 minutes since we started. That checks out. All right, here we go. Hello, the illustrious Mr. Cottrell. Good morning, Mark. How are you today? Man, I'm fantastic. Let me make certain that you cranked all the way up. I do. Super. Well, first off, I want to thank everybody for their cards and notes. That was great. Uh, Cal and Becky T. from South Dakota. I appreciate your, your photo as well as your card. Thank you. And Lisa J. from Montana, thank you very much for your notes. And obvious. And again, again, again. Lyman, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it seems I'm getting hit with a massive uh, cost increase on uh, books and whatever. So we're just going to have to see what's going to happen here. But again, thank you very much. Just an update on where we are. Uh, it turns out that my wife and I have competing doctor's appointments. So that's why our schedule is so crazy. She goes to the doctor tomorrow morning. I was there last Friday morning. So uh, the upshot of where of my health basically was that uh, about two and a half weeks ago, I took a tumble on the tennis court, ended up on my feet. I thought that was great. I did it after all these years. I did great. And three days later, my system shut down on me totally, which is why I thought I had a bug. And after restarting the system and getting back on the right food, quote unquote, uh, I'm doing better. So I thank everybody. So I'm ready for questions, Mark. And boy, did we have uh, a lot of folks. Ooh, uh, see if I can find them. My uh, inbox blew up and I had some saved for you. I'm going to see if I can get to them. I did have uh, an interesting question. Uh, well, I got two of them. Uh, and we've talked about the one before, reverse mortgages and how you think that is going to work. Um, if they've got one, it's my understanding, it just gets wiped. Now it's your house again, free and clear. That's my understanding. How about you, Mr. C? Well, once I put the codes in, we go to uh, gold back currency, and that's our parity around the world, which means a dollar is a lira, equal to a lira, a pound, and such, et cetera. And the other thing that happens is all derivatives are wiped off the balance sheets around the world, which means that you've got a debt-free society around the world. So we have a debt jubilee, and that includes all institutional debts, which includes your reverse mortgages, by the way. Um, that certainly makes us, yeah, certainly makes sense to me. That's how I've expected it to work. Uh, the next one was... Uh, all right, we uh, are hearing with Nasera to Sarah that we should get you know uh, income taxes that we have paid federal income taxes back or refunded. How about those that never paid? They just uh, they were just a sponge on the system. Is there any kind of comeuppance, or they just get to walk away and eh, thanks? If you haven't paid taxes, I don't see where you're going to get a refund on the uh, payments made to the IRS. Therefore. That's, that's a wash, basically. Uh, if you haven't contributed, you're not going to get back. Uh, but the reason why people are getting money back is that it is a, based on a fraud. It was never money's going back into the U.S. Treasury. It was always being divided amongst the rats. Uh, an example of that is when uh, Leo and I were sitting in the, uh, can't think of it, uh, I don't drink it, uh, uh, the coffee shop. Uh, at the bottom of uh, Star I'm guessing a Starbucks. Yeah, it was Starbucks. Thank you very much. I don't drink it. It reminds me too much of dishwater. <laughs> that was just my system. Sorry. Anyway, we're sitting there at Starbucks for five hours while they debated in D.C. how they were going to give you up the $1.3 trillion that supposedly they was going to pay. Well, obviously, they weren't going to pay anything because Senior was upstairs 
with Jack Lou, and he said, "Don't pay, don't pay, don't pay." So that's where we are. Um. Yeah, uh, somebody, Anita, wanting to know how close we are. And then, you know, we've got another story. The only U.S. lawmaker born in Ukraine is now skeptical of more aid, saying, hey, we need to know what we're doing before we keep blowing money over here. Is it, you know, it sounds great. You know, I'm Ukrainian. I want you to help Ukraine, but we're not going to win. We're not winning. The money's not being well spent. You know, what are we doing? Uh, Where do you think we're at on that? Because you mentioned before that things like that need to wrap up. Um, where, Where do you think we are in the process? We're getting a lot of chatter. It could be in the next day or two. That's very possible. Uh, I anticipate that when they're ready to release the codes to me and gather up all the rats around the world, that I believe that the Ukrainian scenario will go right to a, a treaty immediately. Uh, basically, all they were called Putin was trying to do is get rid of the uh, two things. One, money laundering back to the rats to support them, which there's they're scrambling right now trying to find out how to make more money. And secondly, get rid of the Azov Nazis, which were continuing on the, the, uh, the what shall I say, the slaughter of children to give a certain drug to the elites for money. Basically, it's money. Uh, whether it's uh, human trafficking or drug trafficking, it doesn't matter. Uh, those rats that are in power, they call, them, they call themselves Democrats, going back to the Clintons, etc., possibly even part of the Kennedys, uh, you've got nothing more than money uh, from drug pushing, basically. Um, yeah, to Mark Jameson, who pays for all of this? Uh, the money, the, the, the amount of money actually in circulation around the world would blow everybody's minds. Well, once we go into the new system, with the codes being released to me, all the fiat money around the world just goes to zero, except for a time period for exchanges. That's one. Reminds me of the 60s. Number two is that the monies coming for the RV are those, uh, is that gold bullion signed off by the Golden Dragon in blood uh, for this event? And that's all that it's for. At least that part that I'm participating in. Uh, the rest of it, uh, various uh, barrels of or allotments of gold bullion are to pay for other things, environment cleanup, water cleanup, uh, land uh, re- uh, reusability. So all that uh, goes into, into different pots, but the same purpose, transparency uh, and, and the rule of law. Um, yeah, but Joy, just how much is in the St. Germain? <laughs> Do you have any idea? I have no idea, although I do know they are connected to now to the gold treaty. Um, Tina saying, what about money for our birth certificates? It's been a while since that one popped up. Uh, I, I'm not very popular for my opinion on that one. All that money that uh, on the birth certificates, on all the assets pledged by uh, Bush Sr. and that group, all of the monies uh, that Kim thinks he owns, all of those dory bars, all that's been gone for a long time. That's why they're back to uh, pushing human trafficking and drug trafficking. Yeah. Um, uh, here's one. You may have been, actually, you were probably listening earlier, and I guess I need to clarify it because we had somebody come in late to it and does not seem to understand what I was getting at when I made the comment. Said, whoa, just came in. Hi, all Mark. See, I'm upset with you. No government should not take President Trump property. If they do, this will... Uh, happened to each of us. Government will make up charges, then come after us. Uh, Mark, would you cry or be happy if government took your property? Oh, it'd be an effing shooting war if they came to take my property. Oh, it would be hell to pay. And that's my point. If they overstep and try that with Trump, the backlash will force uh, this to come to a head and sanity to return. It will be a good old fashioned lynching mob. I mean, they'll be breaking out the uh, pitchforks and the torches. And uh, your government will crumble in days if they make that mistake, uh, is my is my personal opinion. So the part of me is like, just, man, it's ready. Let's crash, burn. Let's build this thing back. I'm tired of playing the games is why I made that comment. Of course, I don't want him to take his property. I'm saying that I almost kind of would like to force it to a head is what I was getting at. So uh, I guess I need to clarify some things. Well, what we have in New York in particular is the haven of the rats in New York City, um, the progressives versus the rest of the world. And what you're seeing 
and it started with a reduction of uh, of Trump's uh, 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 bond to actually uh, obtain an appeal, which when you stop and think about it, that is so anti-Constitution, it's not funny. But, you know, to me to take a, to get an appeal, uh, it's crazy. But I think if they took that final step and tried to attach or to, uh, to seize property, especially in New York, that the New York City Williams Law would, would go bananas because the corporations would just say, we're out of here, that's it, goodbye. And they would pick up their goodies and they would leave, which would make the state totally destitute because all the money they're giving away to the, to the illegal migrants is coming off the top. And there's no other way to, uh, to bring in tax revenue in corporations. Um. Uh, please ask Mr. C what will happen when we call companies in the future. Uh, when Right now, you call, verify, hey, what are the last four digits of your social? You give them the last four. Okay, that's you. Uh, will we still have a number like that for verification? I would assume we'll still have our social security numbers for identification. It's just easier and practical. But um, your thoughts, Mr. C? Well, there's two different sets of numbers. One is individual, yeah, but you also have your your number for your corporation. And that's 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 really what they're talking about here is the corporation numbers, and they're all going to stay the same because remember, uh, you mean I know a corporation is a grant from each state that issues and allows the corporation to exist, and in some states you have to apply. Like in Pennsylvania, if I wanted to do business in Ohio, I'd have to qualify for an Ohio tax ID because they want their their little pound of flesh too. Uh, I don't see that really changing. Um, uh, this one, Justin Volodymyr Zelensky uh, purchased Highgrove House from King Charles III for twenty million pounds. Uh, he's the new owner of Highgrove House, using well, obviously, probably using some of the American aid for Ukraine. I don't know about you, but uh, uh, the Ukrainian president, I doubt, pays more than the U.S. president, and he was just a broke actor five, six years ago, and suddenly paying 20 million pounds for a house? That doesn't seem to check out to me. No, in, in London, they would be. I'll tell you, that have to be very, very expensive. Those real estate property uh, that uh, goes back in history, obviously, is extremely expensive over there. I mean, it, it's almost, uh, they don't want you to take over the country. Therefore, foreigners... I have a real problem in investing in London. Mm. Uh, what I have, uh, I have a question, Mark. Excuse shoot. me. Uh, somebody just said that they spent thirty. Yeah, you know, slow and trucking. Just watch the thirty-part training on the exact thing that I'm talking about. I'm kind of curious what that might be. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Part? That's pretty good. We're, we're going to wait and see if they uh, type a uh, response to you. Steve asked him, okay. what if we took a long-term capital loss? Would we get the original pre-long-term tax back? I would assume we would when they pay us back for our taxes. Well, yes. Um, well, that's a good question because that, that goes to uh, individual and corporate. Uh, very interesting question. I don't know the answer to that. I would assume so, but who knows? That's not one of the areas we talked about. Um, yeah, that one's uh, kind of curious to me. Uh, Jules Bell saying, Mr. C, do you think all assets have to be made digital before we RV? Oh, uh, no. I wouldn't I think not. that. Uh, digital is an interesting question. Uh, one, because we have been on a digital currency since the 90s. And they ran out of money. And especially since 2008, when China foreclosed on the Fed. And I understand that the systems outside the U.S. are now going to try to foreclose on the SEC, which would maybe that'll kick off the uh, the release of the, P, the FIPs. Um, yeah. Uh, do you think I, well, boy, I tell you, I get this question a lot. And it is such a dangerous, painful question for me to answer. Uh, Mr. C, good morning. Do you think I should slowly pull my uh, savings money out of the bank? I'm really uncomfortable trusting the banking industry. 
I mean, the FDIC has already said when people figure it out, it's going to be a mass run on the banks. We have a hundred billion, but we got to cover like 14 trillion. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell people. I mean, I can tell you the math that it's not pretty, but at the same time, it's the chance of you getting all your savings out unless it's just a grand or two is almost not exact. I don't know what to tell anybody, Mr. C. Under the latest banking law, um, you're going to recover money up to a quarter of a million dollars. Period. End of story. If you have more than that, uh, I would diversify a bit. Uh, I would go into uh, metals. And if you want to, um, the problem is we no longer have a situation where they're going to be bankrupt, bankrupt. Uh, most of them, if not all, are going to be acquiesced into the larger banks. When we go to the new system under QFS, uh, there's not going to be a loss. I don't, frankly, I don't see the purpose or the need to be afraid of, of banks going under at this point because it's already been taken into the taken into the calculations on the RV. The whole RV situation, according to Interpol and the Golden Dragon, is that there will be no losses by the normal people, everyday people. The only losses that will occur are for the rats. They will not get their money out. They will not get paid. They will not have access. Now, unless you're a rat, I don't see a problem. Um, and if you take money out of the system, putting it back in, if it's a, it's a, a large amount, you're going to have problems uh, because it has to be in the system to be converted into the gold back. If you try to take several hundred thousand dollars or whatever it is and try to put it back into the system after the RV, there's going to be some, uh, some very interesting questions asked at that point. Um, source of funds, use of funds. Sorry. No, no, no. You're you're totally good. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to piece together what questions make the most uh, sense here for you. Um, a lot of concern over the UCC code. Is that going to completely change? Are they still going to have a, we'll call it a legal right? Although for me, you can put anything you want on paper. It doesn't give you an actual right to take my property. It's just Yes, but um, well, you know, with UCC code is very interesting because you've got to go back to the to the um, uh, letters of credit scenario in the UCC five hundred and the rest of that. I don't see that going away. Uh, that's an underlying security uh, back check. Now, with regard to mortgages, etc., I think UCC one will be employed again after the RV. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm wondering how they will handle people making kind of unfounded claims or just filing on property. There's a lot to figure out after this. Um, time, time for happy dance. What about these high inflated interest rates? Some cards now over 30%. Well, they have to reimburse. I can't imagine they reimburse any interest to you, but maybe. Your thoughts? Uh, that was nothing dis uh, that we discussed, but I do not believe that's going to be accurate. Uh, the point is you're not going to take a loss on recovery of assets that have either been stolen due to fraud, et cetera, et cetera. That's for your loans. With regard to excess interest, no. Once we get rid of uh, fiat and we go to usury laws because they will be coming back in the position, and I don't see that occurring. Uh, neither do I. And uh, it's a bridge too far. It's a bridge too far in my book. Um, now, this one, I, did I miss something you said? Uh, so, here for the truth said, so exchanges will not go down. Um, I didn't hear anything that would cast any doubt on uh, that. No, that's that's a win, not if. Yeah, it's definitely it's a win. It's going to happen. The question is, is the win? Uh, if we owe state income tax, does that go away? And do we get any state income taxes back? That's something I don't. I don't know how to answer that one, Mr. C. Any thoughts on that one? I mean, I feel comfortable getting federal. Um, Unless the state is involved to some degree with the rats as part of a fraudulent operation, the answer is no. Um, this is one I know you're not going to have the answer for. Mr. C, as per UCC laws, then bear bonds are to be paid out one-to-one. -one. Is that your understanding or not? Wow. You know, bear bonds were dealt with back in the uh, early, uh, well, actually the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, and they were done away with because they were too easy to swap and do an under-the-table under transaction. Uh, 
Zim is a whole different animal. I, I'm not familiar with their system, but if it's a bond, then you're going to get paid. One to one, maybe, I don't know. Depends on what the bond reads. Um, yeah, it depends on what the bond. And for me, the bond, I mean, it, it says one to one, meaning that it's going to pay one to one on uh, the Zim dollar, not the U.S. dollar. So I guess yeah. I interpret it differently. And then, you know, you don't, yeah. the Zim dollar doesn't have to be the same value as the U.S. dollar. It generally will not. Uh, let's see. Mark, can you ask Mr. C about taxes paid with the exception of years 22 and 23? Um, Shelly, I don't even know what I'm supposed to ask on that. Uh, Mr. C? Well, if it's IRS taxes, you're going to get it back. If it's not, then I don't know. Good question. Uh, yeah. Boy, I tell you, here's a great question. Please, what about corporations that still owe funds to other corporations because business was shut down regarding uh, Nasera? The debt was business to business. Uh, so would that count as an institutional debt? I don't I don't know how that one's going to count. I had not thought yeah, about that one. I just assumed that it, debt, Go ahead. I'm sorry, Mark. All debt gets wiped, wiped aside because it's based on fiat and fraud. Uh, all debt right now is based upon derivatives. So it's a fraudulent event, and it will be wiped out. Uh, that's a good thing for the corporations, by the way, because you're you're going to resettle your, your balance sheet. And I think it's a great idea. Uh, yeah, to me, we, we get to so much of our accounting done now is done. Not what's best for the business, best for the family, best for the person makes the most economic sense. It's what makes most sense for some kind of zombie tax laws. Um, so we run a lot of things not based on what is financially the most sound, but yeah, it's, it's really screwy system they've created for us. MK 502 age groups for the RV. There are so much rumors out there. Well, only the people this age are up are going to go ahead and get all their money at first. These people, whatever, it's going to go by age. Um, to me, I don't buy any of that. I've not heard that from any banking contact. I'm hearing it's a level playing field across the board. Mr. C, you? In my opinion, all of it is BS. It has nothing to do with age. I see so many things and people send them to me and they, they pop up on Telegram or whatever. And I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm in ancient Rome and the <laughs> the hall monitors are breaking out the rules. Uh, and I, I don't even know how to. I'm just like. Did somebody actually take the time to type that up and write it and think it's real? OK, uh, bank. There will be no taxes on your RV money because it's a, a recovery of stolen assets. Uh, there's no taxes on that. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Please ask Mr. C what the price of gold and silver will go to when we go to a gold-backed currency. I am not a guru. I do not know. Uh, the market will reflect it, and the uh, QFS system will reflect what they dictate. Other than that, I have no idea. Um, yeah, I still don't know what to tell you about state taxes. I, I don't have an answer for you. I don't know what to expect. I was uh, hoping Mr. C would have some enlightenment for you, but I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Mr. C, uh, how will we get tangible information or proof once this happens? Debt Jubilee, mortgage cancellation, et cetera. Any idea what those mechanisms will look like? Well, that's, that's an interesting question. Um, tangible information, you'll be getting it over your television, the EBS, radio, as well as computer. Uh, they're not going to let you get away with that. I'm not understanding why this occurred as a uh, education system to make sure that you understand what it was. With regard to anything else, I really don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I wish I did. Um... And some of it, I really do think not all of this has been absolutely ironed out. I think some of it we're going to have to figure out as we move forward. I don't even think the most intelligent people in the world, the greatest folks in the world, could have every single piece of this figured out because it is such a momentous uh, historic event. Well, when you look at it, Mark, it's very interesting. Since 2013, they have been negotiating 
the whole process amongst the signatories to the Gold Treaty on how to bring out the Sera and Gisera, how it affects each country. And it is very complex. There's a whole set of tax laws behind all of this with regard to international payments and movement of money, which has to be dealt with or have been dealt with, say it that way. But those are areas that unless you're in the nitty gritty inside the system, you're not going to know. Uh, for us, when we were talking about uh, what's going to happen here, there, and whatever else, it was because when we talked about it, it seemed to be maybe 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the road, if we were lucky enough to get the first step done, which obviously 34 years later, we're now talking about it still yet to take place. So a lot of this is uh, speculation on speculation. Um, yeah, a lot of it is speculation on top of speculation. So the best thing you can do is apply common logical sense to it and go from there. What makes the most sense? Because that is probably the way it'll work. Anthony, Mark, once this RV actually takes place, when we hear from you on a call, I do a call or whether it's the bank, uh, what do you think the procedures are going to be like, Mr. C? What do you think those steps are going to be? I don't know. Uh, we do know that there is going to be the release of the 800 numbers for uh, probably email instructions. But we're talking about such a massive thing. I, I, I honestly don't know the degrees and how this works. It's not something that was really formally discussed with me. Um, all right. Uh, well, okay. We're going to ask this one first. Uh, Mr. C, will there be a gift tax? I think the gift tax goes away. I don't know. Your thoughts? I don't either because we're talking about a tax code that's primarily going to be shoved out the window when we get to the RV and a new tax system is going to be developed. I don't know the answer to that. To me, uh, you know, and what I continue to hear is it's not a flat rate. It's not a whatever. It is simply a sales and use on the final purchase. Not not all the stages in between, but at the final end purchase when it goes to the person that consumes the product. Um, so if it is like building supplies, it's not the contractor that pays it. It would be, you know, the homeowner. Um, so it doesn't get taxed two, three, four times. So you don't like, you know, go buy a new car, pay the tax, uh, sell it as a used car, pay the tax, sell it again as a used car, pay the tax. Uh, so for me, I, I, I don't think, I mean, it doesn't make sense to tax it at all the steps in between. Uh, all right. Here's a one that just keeps popping up. I know each guru has their inf own information, but I was listening to Frank and he said, no, Nasera, just there. And he's not the only one. There are a lot of them saying, no, there's no such thing as Nasera, just Um, Your thoughts on that one, Mr. C? I mean, I, I know I have my opinions on it uh, one way or the other, but uh, your thoughts. Well, I pity the guys who put themselves out there like this because they're full of BS and blue smoke. They do not know. We know, you and I, Mark, know that if I'm in the treaty, Casera and Nacera is in the treaty. And that's all it means. Yeah, and for me, e even let's just say, let's just run with it and say he's absolutely right and it's not. Well, in order to reset and go to asset, we still get debt forgiveness. So let's just say he is right. Rather than lose our freaking minds and fight and throw each other and throw tantrums and refuse to go to this room or that or badmouth this guru or that one. Let's just apply the logic to it. Okay. You still get cancellation of debt. So now what? Now it just means we have to work harder to change our politicians and make things right. We'll be well healed to do it. Um, I, it's just one I don't understand the need to have a fight over. I guess well, that's kind of my take is, on it. Excuse me, Mark. The other thing is this. The Sarah in particular for each country means you roll up and shackle and you photograph the culprits, the rats. That's the other part of the Sarah. You clean the house. And if you don't have that, you're just recapitalizing rats. It makes no sense to me. Unless you're a rat, of course there's no the Sarah. I'm with you. It's one of these. I definitely don't uh, don't understand the fight back and forth. Are you familiar with Dr. Scott? Uh, Time Crappy Dance, he's been on our podcast, what, six, seven, eight times? Um, maybe she was asking you, but no, we've had Dr. Scott Young on here many, many times, and he'll be here again tonight. Let's see. The Uncle Bear won. The Uncle Bear, we still need pictures of your new uh, grand baby. 
Um, we were we announced it last night. You may have missed it. You got lots of congratulations. Uh, okay, Uncle Bear with a question. This April 15th, file taxes, file an extension, or ignore the filing. Boy, this one's a tough one. And it's one that puts us in trouble if we really give any real advice. Uh, your thoughts, Mr. C? Given the uh, attitude of the DOJ, who are looking for anybody they can use as a uh, scapegoat or, or an example, I would recommend you file. Now, whether you pay them or not is up to you. That's an obvious choice. But uh, I know that we are going to uh, uh, file and probably pay. We're just going to get the money back, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, yeah, I definitely would not be uh, overly worried on this one. Let me make certain I get this one um, right because I had somebody ask if I can get back to the question. A uh, question from Rumble. Lola, you asked, uh, I purchased a purple light or a black light to check my currency. What's important to see under the light? This really isn't a question for you, but they're asking. Nope. Uh, guys, I am Robert, uh, one of our own, sent me a black light to be able to check. I have just been slammed. I have every intention of trying to get the video knocked out. Uh, I tried. Uh, the lighting is very funky. I was trying to get the camera to focus so I can show you. I'm working on some ideas. I need to try it at night filming, but I'm working on just that, using the black light and showing you with the currency and with some of the historic bonds because um, I have just a small handful of a couple of those. Uh, and Robert had the idea of showing, and I think it's a wonderful idea, and I have been playing with it, but I've just got to get – I know it's going to be something simple, but i got to get the tech side of that worked out so that you can see it on the podcast. Now, that was like my little – oh, crap. Uh, let's see what a blue sky say. We are under unilateral contracts, guys, and cannot, uh, you can't not pay. It's just a simple contract. A simple contract's not a payment based, but perform. Yeah, I don't understand that one. Um, uh, I thought it was hopefully it was some great enlightenment for us, and I think I just took it out of context and don't know your context. Oh, we got to go focus on the high. I'm really excited, Mr. C. My uh, track chair arrived today. It's a big box sitting out front. Yeah, all right. I'm so excited. All right. Anything you want to do in closing? Actually, no. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Uh, I do appreciate the questions. Uh, I, I'm really quite pleased with them. We're, we're now getting into the reality of all this. So should they arrive this week or next few days, it'd be fantastic. In the meantime, I shall hopefully see you next Friday. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Take care, Mr. C. You too. Bye. Uh, oh, right. Oh, dude. <laughs> we hang up with Mr. C and I'm like, oh, and Matt and Lucas will be calling us soon, but it's Thursday. It's not Friday. So that won't be happening. I got everything confused, which makes it kind of fun. All right. We got a number of birthdays. Uh, Myrtle Mayhem, Elsie, Karen. Uh, Diane, Greg, Larry's daughter. I saw some other ones. Uh, yeah, I don't. We'll just keep on with the questions, guys. I've been collecting them over the week. We're starting out with a few questions already out of the gate. Um, we'll try to uh, get to them all over time. G, whoop, I'm trying to catch it. G, wait, Gigby's birthday, too. Did I say that right? I'm cururious. Okay, let's do it. That's <laughs> Keith, you're killing me, man. Mark, it's a good thing you already have a nice shiny mankini for your trip to the beach. I'm going to get tan. I'm going to get tan. Grip, grip. I saw you pop in. It's good to see you. Andrea's 75th. Happy birthday. Yeah, no, the 16th Amendment was never properly uh, ratified. There's a whole lot not logical that I, I, I wish we could. We really need to do a deep dive on it. The problem is to do a deep dive on it, we'd have to do it at Rumble, not on YouTube. And I'm not even certain that would be safe for us. Can we just drop links and then run around and, and pretend we didn't drop them and let people uh, read themselves?
Okay, I need to just do the birthday thing. I'm ready to get to that chair. I am so excited. <clears throat> so they tell me it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday, darling. May you live, may you love. May all your dreams come true. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all those celebrating. Uh, Carol J., this is one that I've done so many times. I'm sorry you have missed those podcasts on Sheila's background or where we have talked about it in the past. Uh, we will get her to talk about it. She has a lot of a lot of history with prosperity packages, CMKX, uh, Bond. She's helped put together some enormous deals. Um, very, very close right-hand person of Al Hodges uh, who led the charge and the suit. Uh, I mean, her contacts go from Mr. Mayhew to Mr. Hodges to the man who's in charge of the computer system or the QFS system for North America. She, I don't think there's anybody better connected on this planet that is breathing that doesn't, that unless they are part of that core six, half a dozen, dozen people. Uh, so having her on here really is kind of neat for us. Oh, yeah. I'll film the first ride. Do not worry. She is coming on this evening at the 7 o'clock, guys. It should end up most likely being a long one because we're have, supposed to have Dr. Scott Young as well. All right. Let me get to it. See you guys this evening. May start early. Keep an eye out. <laughs> I'm seeing that one. D's nuts. Uh, yeah. Year-round ones. We'll keep the education going. Okay, guys, now we're getting out of here. See you this evening.